Sean Murphy. His break-off uh, shots have not been too clever in this match. Oh, he's, is it the blue this time? Yes. Uh, I think he needs to go to the practice table, Joe, and just play a few break-offs. He's made a mess of all of them. And this is a oh. gift for Sean Murphy, just what he needed. Red goes to the left middle. Eight. But needs to leave an angle in potting this red to be able to disturb the reds. Nine. And that looks just about right. Didn't hold back there. But once again, it can get this red to the right corner, but not easy to get onto a colour. Oh dear. Oh dear. Tried to hold for the black. And forgot about potting the red. Doesn't want that second red to go in. That would have been nice to stay out of the pocket. But still got a few reds he can play for. Yes, the man known as the outlaw looking to uh, fire a few final shots here. to hit that one, played for the Reds into the left middle. Nine. He's going to have to take it to the bottom corner. Ten. He's got great nerve, Joe, great heart as well kind of get the feeling this is not going to be straightforward. It's not to say he won't win it here, though. Well, he didn't really go into them with any conviction there. He had a nice angle to open them up. This red is potable to the left middle. It's a tough pot, and he's just checked to see if he'll be leaving the red on to the right middle, should he go for it. Now, it was never easy, and obviously the red doesn't go to the right middle. Oh, they wouldn't have played it like that. Dead on the cushion behind the black. Leaves his opponent in trouble. That looked to be a big bounce off the cushion. close was that that was definitely a chance to win
yeah, that close. Great pot. And he's given himself a really good chance here with the red spread like they are. Just seem to detect a little bounce in the step there from Sean Murphy. Well, we said it as well. I think it's true of Murphy as well. When he's back, it's to the wall. He comes out fighting. He did that against uh, Ali Carter in the UK Championship semi-finals last season. Eight four down. Produced right. five terrific frames to win nine eight. Probably the best five I've seen him play. Well, he may have to play for the ready nearest the cushion. Would have liked to have come down the table for the open reds. Seven. It's a bold red that Joe Swell attempted to the green pocket. Could have won in the match, but it didn't go in. Good chance for Murphy to close to 3-2. This is his highest break of the match. 35. Black and another red, and it should be 3 2. Would you believe it? Caught that near knuckle. I still thought it was going to go in, but the black stayed out. How can Joe Swell force this red past the black? If he catches it cushion first, every chance that the red will go in. And if he plays it a little steady, won't knock the black too far away. It'd be on the black next shot. That's the right speed. Oh, well, it went in without it. What a bonus. I think he attempt, attempted to cannon into the reds. But it did look like this red behind the pink, directly behind the pink, would go to the right corner.
you can't take it on from there. And it's difficult to get safe. Well. He's happy. Yes. So 26 in it, Murphy the man in front, in the frame, but of course, he knows potentially one mistake here, could be end of match. Joe Swell 3-1 up in the match. Oh. Well, not if he pots one and gets a good kiss. Uh, it looks like he's pulled one back. What a great pot this was. Well, it's Ooh. what he does. He's such a terrific long potter, Sean Murphy. So he's 32 in front. This red snooker's required. Six. Well, the red certainly deserved to win the frame. He's not out of it yet, Shaw Murphy. So Sean Murphy with that terrific long ready knocked in has won the fifth frame and the match continues and it's all on the next one now if he can force a decider obviously the pressure all transfers to Joe Swale.